here's how you can use your iPad as an external display for your PlayStation 5, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or even a Windows PC. Welcome everybody, welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and I'm gonna show you how you can use your iPad as an external display for your gaming console, your PC, or really anything that has an HDMI output. I'm gonna first let you know how it works, show you what you need, and give you a demo using my PS5. So let's go ahead and dive in, and I'll show you how it works. Essentially, what's going on is that Apple is allowing webcam support inside of iPadOS 17. You can connect an external camera and just use that as an input device on your iPad. Usually this is gonna be used for just like your, your conference calls, for FaceTime, for Zoom, anything like that with an external webcam. But there's a secret trick. Using third-party apps, you can actually use that input as something to display on the screen. So by connecting an HDMI device, you can capture that input and show it on the display. Essentially, turning your iPad into an external display for any HDMI device, including gaming consoles or computers. So, what do you need to get started? Well, of course, you're going to need an iPad running iPadOS 17. Currently, iPadOS 17 is in closed beta for both developers as well as public beta testers. Anyone can join this beta and try it out, but the software is not fully released yet. You can go ahead and download the public beta by heading to beta.apple.com and signing up for yourself, though be wary, there of course are going to be bugs before the full release in September. Assuming you have an iPad running iPadOS 17, you're also going to need some sort of HDMI adapter. So this is the one that I'm using. There's a ton of them available. I will say the Elgato capture cards did not work for me, so maybe avoid those at least for right now. Uh, this is the one I have. There's a link for it in the description. Just pick this up. It's 15 bucks or something on Amazon. Real easy to do, uh, and I'm going to show you that it actually works in this video. So you're going to need a capture card, so it's going to have a HDMI input, and then it'll connect to your iPad over USB-C. If you'd like, it's optional. You could pick up a USB-C hub. This will allow you to charge your iPad while connecting your gaming console or your PC to your iPad. That way you can charge up your iPad at the same time. Alternatively, use Apple's Magic Keyboard. You got a USB-C input on the Magic Keyboard itself, which will give you power input, and then use the USB-C on the side for connecting this little dongle. Other than that, you're gonna need whatever HDMI source you'd like to use. I'm gonna be demoing this with my PS5, but we've also confirmed that it works with Xbox, with Nintendo Switch, and even with PCs. Basically, anything that has an HDMI output should work with this feature. Oh, you're also gonna need an app to actually run this. When iPadOS 17 is fully released, there's probably gonna be several of these available on the App Store. Right now, during the beta period, I'm testing out one called Capture Pro. There's a public test flight link down below in the description. You can grab that, and I'll try to upload or update this video when iPadOS 17 is released with any other capture video playback apps that I find available at launch. But for now, that one is in beta testing, and that's what I'm gonna demo here. So, we're gonna grab our things. Let's show you how it works. I'm gonna show you how this works in real time. I have, of course, my PlayStation 5 over here, my 12.9 inch iPad running iPadOS 17. I got my controller, and we're gonna open up the Capture Pro application. I've got my HDMI input, my little USB-C adapter, plug in my capture card here, and I'm gonna connect this to the side of the iPad. Just like that, we've been connected. Now, you take my controller, you can see it's detected an input, press the button on my PS5. We're gonna turn it on and just give it a moment and let's see if it recognizes it as an external display. Boom, just like that. There's my PS5, my Crash Bandicoot icon. We're gonna jump in here. I've got my whole system. The audio and everything works on here. I can choose any game. I can jump into Red Dead Redemption. I can play Overcooked. I can jump into Hogwarts Legacy. It takes two, Rocket League. All these games that you can't play on iPad, I can do right here using the PS5 on my iPad. This is incredible. Here we are. Uh, I'm literally playing Hogwarts Legacy on my iPad. The iPad is now an external display for whatever you've got. PlayStation, Switch, Xbox connect it, plug it in, you're good to go. Just run this app. 
This is a really neat application using Apple's native technologies and it's super easy to pull off with minimal support for things just like a little HDMI adapter, maybe an app or a couple dollar app available on the App Store. So easy to do and just so much functionality coming to iPad. I am in love with this. I'm gonna go play some Hogwarts Legacy, maybe play some Call of Duty. I'll get back to you guys later, but in the meantime, let me know what you think. Are you going to try this out for yourself? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. You can also let me know on threads at Andrew O'Hara 941. Otherwise, stay tuned, subscribe, turn on those notifications. I'll catch you in the next video.